Greetings again, friends. This is a different type of video that you can enjoy because you get to see what my wife has done. Christina is someone who plays The Sims game. Tell us about The Sims. Hi, y'all. Um, it is a simulated game where you can build houses, um, create Sims, do uh, if you have a YouTube channel like I do, then you can um, uh, do let's plays and uh, speed builds, and then get, like I said, the creative sims. Or... Now this video is a speed build of a yes. church. Yes, it is. And the church is a Lessons to Learn Ministries church. Lessons to Learn Ministries is what God has developed through my life and what he did. We're going to give a little history of that as we go through this and learn a little bit more about uh, Christina's channel and how she builds. Uh, this channel, the Lessons to Learn Ministries YouTube channel, is one you should subscribe to. It's one you should know about because we are helping to teach the Word of God and build people's lives to know the Lord and to know Him better through His revelation, the Word of God. So, there are many lessons to learn. Now, that ministry and name comes from a tragedy that took place in 2007. On April the 16th, 2007, an event happened. The worst mass shooting to that date had occurred on the Virginia Tech campus. I was a campus minister there, and it impacted my life completely, turning it upside down. And uh, the book that I wrote tells more about that story. Uh, but this is coming at a time, this build that we are showing with this different video is coming at an interesting time in the history of America and the world because we just had an assassination attempt on Donald J. Trump, who is the leading candidate to be president uh, with the next election. So uh, I trust that this build will be a way for you to understand that the real need that we have to stop violence and to stop terrorism, like the video I did, Stopping Terrorism, you, you really should know that it is through the church of God that we can see the difference because if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, seek my face, I will then hear from heaven and forgive their sins and heal their land. And we certainly need healing in our countries, in this world. And we need to see that. And we can if we learn the lessons that God wants to teach us. So tell us a little bit more about how you create. You just start with nothing, just an empty lot, right? Yes. Um, you pick a lot that you want to choose. They've got different size lots. And you just decide where you want to go. If you want to go somewhere that's more like desert, then you got Oasis Springs. If you want something that's more lush and more green and more pretty, then you'd probably go to Willow Creek. Um, if you wanted something like I would choose for winter time, which is Sulani, um, I would go to 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 that area, which is called uh, it's the Island Living Pack, where you get Sulani. So now you're talking about a lot of things that somebody who plays Sims might know. A lot of the people watching this might be international people. So what you're talking about is basically different worlds or atmospheres you can have where you would build things. Where Where is this church being built? Uh, in Willow Creek. So this is uh, uh, not the Willow Creek uh, ch community church that we know in America, but it is interesting. This is the Lessons to Learn Ministries church 
that uh, you are simulating here. And you kind of get to see as you're watching this and listening, you're seeing how she is taking the accessories that she has available through the packs of accessories that she has with this game and putting the furniture and decorations for this church building as she builds it from the ground up. Yeah, it, it's a real fun um, place, and uh, all the different worlds are um, really interesting. they got their own characteristics that you can um, have a good time with and experience all different kinds of gameplay. I mean, what pe a lot of YouTubers do who have YouTube channels for The Sims, they actually um, go different, all kinds of different routes. Um, one of my... And, and, and what you're really talking about, you have a lot of different things that you've learned in building this. You, you have ways that you can build uh, different houses, different types of houses. You have, you have uh, ways that you can build people. And like you decorated that sign we just saw, the Lessons to Learn Ministries sign. Right. You, can, you made that one here, didn't you? Yes. I, I actually used a... Um a program that sim simmers can use uh, for it's for sims 4 to create things and make them custom content so i use something to make that um so you can you can use the accessories they have or even some custom content that you can create through building in this simulated game this is fascinating as we look at it and it really helps you to see what has to go into a building to be built and how you would make it what it should be and it really is simulating the spiritual building that god wants us to understand when he works to build our lives to be what they should be if people are seeing right there like just getting more into the build here for a second where I'm putting those plants and stuff on the stairs on the sides. I thought it was neat to do the stairs there, but I didn't leave a door to get up there. So, but the reason for putting the plants there is so the Sims won't try to go up them steps with no possibility of going anywhere. So you have characters that have to work with the build that you have because it works in the parameters of what you've done. And you'll see a character you created for me here uh, in this in this video, and you'll see... Well, he's right there by the parking ah, yes. lot. You can see the little green there. That's his plumb bob. Okay, well, this is... Uh, this is what will be representing me as yes, the Pastor mi Charles Pugh. The missionary pastor who God opened up the door to speak internationally. Now I was uh, I was willing to speak for any group because of how God had taught me so much and so many lessons. Uh, the book that I wrote talks about the lessons for Charles and stages of tragedy that should never have happened if the church would have been working as it should be. It's important to build a church. The church is the pillar and ground of the truth, and it must be built upon the Word of God. And that's why this Lessons to Learn Ministries channel is so important. Yes, most definitely. And, and I, I am so grateful that God has given Christina to me to be my partner in ministry in the aspect of the channel, for well, sure. I'm definitely thankful he gave me you as well. <laughs> and, and how we can work together and use the abilities and skills that God gives us. And Christina makes all the thumbnails for this channel and does the editing of the videos. And you can kind of see how she's working here to create this church building and uh, all the ways that she she builds it up physically in the simulation of it. But friends, we have to build people up in the truth of the Word of God. And people need to learn the lessons that God wants us to know, especially when there are times that are difficult times like we are experiencing in our country and in the world now. Learning the lessons are very important. Now, the lessons that we all need to learn 
uh, I write about in the book, like lessons about control, lessons for couple, couples, for country, for churches, for communities, for campuses, counselors, and then in conclusion. And these lessons help us to know what God wants. Now, in this build that you're building, you even have a YouTube channel, don't you? Yes, it's called The Southern Sim, which is on the screen there now. Um, if you want to look me up and uh, subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. So I you should subscribe to her channel as well. And you can see now, how many videos do you have on your channel? 67. Uh, you have built more in the past and maybe get to build a little bit more uh, now that you've got a room you're working on here to build more uh, or to have a craft room. And Right. Uh, We're currently doing that because our family is in transition and... Um, so our oldest son took our biggest room, which is really considered the master bedroom, um, because we took a bit a room downstairs that had an ensuite bathroom and made that the master bedroom. So we gave him the largest bedroom up here. You have the actual smallest bedroom for all your books, which is co quite we weird. And that's where I do the teaching <laughs> and preaching from most often. And there. so I took the middle room upstairs for my um, for my craft for room. your crafting. So and it might be I'm, it might be where you'll build more of these houses and stuff. Now you have how many builds posted on the YouTube channel? Oh, I've got mostly the speed builds. It's most I do have some. Uh, but total videos that I have on there are 67. That's not all builds. That, yeah, that's so stuff that you've done. So you've posted that many videos. And this yes. video on this channel is, is a lot different from what I normally do. But it's illustrating how the church must be built up. Uh, now, in all that you have done uh, with your builds in this game, what would you say was your most unusual build? Um, the wedding cake house. It looks like a three-tier... wedding cake house. <laughs> yes. It looks like a three-tier wedding cake. So it's in the shape of a traditional wedding cake. Mm -hmm. and And you have it as a house. Yes. Wow, yes. that's interesting. I, hey, you, you people watching this from Pakistan, I know how you like to cut the cake. That'd be an interesting one for you to yeah, look at. Yeah, you should look it up. I also did a lighthouse build, too, that was pretty ne neat. You know, so, to, so there's lots of ways you can use your abilities for the glory of God. And that's what you try to do and and uh, just uh, utilize this game to to hone some of your skills in decorating and how you would do things. And so which, it's just kind of neat. Which I was challenged to do another speed bill, which is my favorite, um, the Sand Trap Flat House that uh, was in Oasis Springs. It was really... Uh, a what dump. Was, what was so you? What did you do with that? I had to remodel it and make it a, something pretty, very pretty. I, I mean, I was blown away because it was out of my comfort zone. Because I pretty, I like Victorian style houses better, and so this was not a Victorian style house. But so, so you took something that was run down and. That was dilapidated, like it, well, it wasn't, wasn't cared dilapidated. for. It but it was just run down, and it wasn't cared for as much. And you made it just it wasn't much as better. detailed, but I made it look better. Well, that's that's I used that creativity that God gave me. Right, that's essentially what <laughs> that's essentially what God does in our lives. He, yes, he, he certainly does. He takes what's there and what He's made us to be and the experiences in our life and he helps change it and build it and make it he, better he most certainly does he takes things and that are not so pretty about us and he picks them off like kick them off prunes out us. and prunes he us prunes takes a pair of scissors or, or pruning shears and he prunes all those things it's off kind of us. like you're working on the outside shrubbery there for a moment we saw yeah <laughs> <laughs> so you you can you can do decorations outside mm -hmm. and inside and uh we're seeing here you going inside what were you doing with decorating here 
I'm just making sure that you have typical things for a church. I mean, because you can't do a lot of decorating inside a church usually. Unless you had banners you could put up on the wall, which I didn't have anything that would work. Well, Sims isn't really a Christian game, but, Sadly, you, no. but you put Christian things in it. I mean, you did have uh, stained glass windows you could put in. Mm -hmm. They came out of a pack that I bought. That you let me buy. And you made a uh, cross for the top. Yes. Uh, when you go back out, we'll see that cross. And then you just put put the things you would have in a church building. Right. Uh, having to have, uh, you know, the restrooms in the back, the pews or chairs or whatever you have. You have pews here in the church and the platform where the preaching and teaching would be done. Mm -hmm. The musical instruments you've got on the sides with the piano. and well, right. And, I didn't uh, go crazy there right. because... <laughs> Not a full band or anything, but no. you, but you have a, a pipe organ, I think, on the other side. This is just a traditional church that you uh, might see. Now, Jesus said he was going to build his church, and that's what he's doing through lessons to learn ministries. He is working to build his church to bring more people into his church. You will be a member of the church of Jesus Christ when you trust in Jesus Christ as your Savior. Jesus is the Creator. He is God the Son. He came into this world, and we celebrate that at Christmas. Now, you, you did a real creative build when you did a certain house. What was that one about? The Christmas house. Um, I even had a pack where it was a with the seasons and stuff and so i was able to get it to snow i mean it was really <laughs> blowing snow and so when i did my thumbnail for it i had all this snow blowing around i was like this is just so cool and i really enjoyed that one making that house so you can go look at that on her channel and friends you should go look at this channel and all the videos we have uh, on this Lessons to Learn Ministries channels, I think this is 283. We have we have prophecy videos that talk about Bible prophecy. We have the Beatitude series that we just completed. So we're, we're trying to help people to see that the Church of Jesus Christ is that organism, that group of people who believe in Jesus, that he died on the cross for their sins, that he was buried and rose again. And if you simply place your faith in him, then you will have salvation. And, and we know Jesus is going to return again soon. So we need to be busy building his church as he gives us opportunity. Yes, we certainly do. And you see this inside of the building and that beautiful uh, part of the front that has lessons to learn ministries. Uh, that custom content you built to make this Lessons to Learn Ministries International. And uh, you'll see uh, me, I guess, as the missionary Pastor Charles coming up there to teach uh, here uh, as uh, we come to the conclusion in a moment. But listen, friends, there are so many lessons for us to learn. Uh, I have top 10 that I have talked about in my book that I have videos on on this channel. Uh, just the top 10 lessons that, that are life lessons to learn that should that should be learned in, in everything. So check out that playlist and see what those are. Just as you're looking here and looking at the different screenshots that you're you're showing us here. What are what are these shots just giving you a view of? Just the different parts of the of the church and everything. But I was just going to remind everybody to check out my channel and see all these builds that I have done and the creativity that God has given me, and to um, check out the ones that have to do with Island Living and Sulani and the Wedding Cake House and the Christmas House and. All that good Lots stuff. Lots of things to look at and on this channel too. So friends, I trust that you will build your life on the Lord Jesus Christ. That you will be sure to like this video, share it with others, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be ready for the next video as God leads in this ministry.